my name is Sam, I'm from usephotoshop.com and today I'm going to help you understand how to use the blur tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. If you don't already have a image open, go to File, Open, or use the keyboard shortcut Control and the letter O to open an existing photo from your hard drive. To find the tool, go to Window Tools to open up the Tools window or the Tools palette. The tool is located 7th from the top, 5th from the bottom on the left hand side, and may be hiding behind the Sharpen tool or the Smudge tool. If it is, simply left click, hold down, you will see this menu appear, and you can select the first option, the Blur tool. Let me show you how this tool works, and I'll do that by zooming in on this photo, and I'm doing that by holding down control and pressing plus on my keyboard, and I'm just using the hand tool here to get over our subject's face, and I'll zoom out a little bit by holding down control and pressing minus. Now you can see with the blur tool selected, if I click on this and move back and forth over it, you will see that the image gets blurry. And the more I go over this, the blurrier it will get. And I can click again and I can go over it even more and it gets even more blurrier. You can see the difference when I undo it by holding down Control, Alt, and the letter Z on my keyboard. You can see that it goes from quite blurry to very sharp. This can be used for a number of reasons and today I'm going to show you how to blur the background. I could of course decrease the brush size by going up to here. This is like most other brushes. You can click on the downward arrow and change the size or the hardness. I can also change the mode or the strength, how much of a blur it applies. Since the effect is, isn't that obvious, I suggest a strength of 100 to see nearly any effect. Let's select the background by using the quick selection tool. And I'll select our background here. And if you don't already know how to use the quick selection tool, I have made another video tutorial just on how to use the quick selection tool. And we'll use it to very easily and quickly select the background. Now I'll use the blur tool and I'll make the brush much bigger, which I can do by going here and adjusting the brush size. Or I can use the keyboard shortcut, the right bracket key on my keyboard or the left bracket key in my keyboard to make it smaller. And I'll go over the entire background with this tool, making sure I get every area. And you will see the effect is quite faint, so you may have to go over the area several times to see anything. And so let's just let that load, and you will see that the background is a little blurry over here. I can make it even blur blurrier by going over it even more with the blur tool. I could of course also use the blur filter by going to filters, filter, blur, and there's a variety of blurs in here. We could use the Gaussian blur to make it much, much blurrier. But let's just focus on the blur tool in this case. I'll deselect that by holding down control and pressing the letter D on my keyboard. And let's go over to where this blurry area is. And you can you will see that her sweater here and her hair are not blurry at all. While the background is, and I'll undo this in stages so you can see that this again to regain its sharpness. That's a quick overview of the blur tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.